Hi YouTube and welcome back to my random thoughts on Thursdays and this week I'm going to talk about my experience at the Shedd Aquarium in Chicago last week. Alright so if you saw my quick little vlog that I put up last week you'll know that I was in Chicago and I was out there mainly for a conference but then I also went to visit some family while I was out there and had some really nice uh, visits with my aunt and uncle but then the highlight of the trip was uh, spending an entire day at the Shed Aquarium in, uh, in Chicago downtown uh, with my niece and nephew, um, their mom, with my sister, and um, my other sister and my stepmom. So uh, with, with all of them, it was, it was a really fun day. Uh, it's the first time I've actually been to the Shed Aquarium, despite the fact that I grew up in Chicago. I uh, just never went, um, probably because my family couldn't afford it, more than likely. We generally didn't go to anything that cost money because we just couldn't afford to do things like that. Uh, ended up going mostly to the Lincoln Park Zoo when I was a kid because it free admission. You can't beat that. <laughs> So anyway, so we spent the entire day there. It was my first day and it was, it was started off as a kind of a drizzly rainy day. And at first it was like an hour and a half wait line to get in. And we ended up opting to skip the line and pay uh, more for a, a membership pass for the four adults and um, children and everything. So we got in pretty quickly, which was nice. And we got a nice family uh, portrait, which was, which was cool. Um, I'm not gonna share that here because I wanna save the privacy of my uh, family members, so I apologize for not putting not putting a photo up for that. Um, that was we kind of started with that. We just kind of went room to room on the on the main level and just kind of went through and looked at all of the different fish. And one of the first things, um, interesting things we got to do um, on that level was you got to touch a lake sturgeon. So they're fish that are like I don't know, they're pretty big. And if you're familiar with sturgeon, um, there are sturgeon up in Russia. That's where. Um, caviar comes from, but lake sturgeon, I don't think they, they don't get caviar from the lake sturgeon. Uh, but, you know, you were able to, you had to wash your hands, and then you could put your hands in the water, and the sturgeons would just come by and check you out, and, and you could um, just, you know, they said, you know, keep your hand flat and just, just kind of gently stroke their back. And they just kind of kept coming, almost like a cat when the cat kind of rubs its head up against you when, when you put your hand out. Uh, it, it was they were kind of doing that a little bit. They were just kind of coming up and they're like, oh yeah, I like I like feeling this this pressure on my back or something. And they had these little interesting kind of ridges on the on the back. And um, according to the uh, information that they provided, uh, stur these sturgeon are um, prehistoric. <laughs> uh, they've been around for millions of years and and they haven't changed or evolved much from their earlier forms and everything. So so they're uh, kind of living fossils is what they were calling them. So that was that was kind of cool. I know the kids really loved loved that and would have liked to have stayed longer, but there's a whole long line of people kind of trying to get in there, and so we kind of had to make a move along, even though they didn't want to. Um, then we what else we do? Oh, uh, one of the next things we did was there was the 4D uh, movie. Um, they had uh, the Ice Age, Dawn of the Dinosaurs. I think was it's a little 15 minute movie, <laughs> a little 15 minute clip or, or film, um, but it's in 4D, so you have get the you have the 3D experience with the glasses and everything, but then there are a couple of moments here and there where I think one of the, one of the animals sneezes and they spritz water, uh, mist water on you, <laughs> so it feels like, you know, they, the, the animal sneezed on you, um, and they had like snowflakes coming down uh, within the theater and bubbles and um, there were like the, the, your seats had had things in them, so that there were a couple of times when when things were moving in the in the film, uh, you could actually feel it in your seat. So uh, it was it was kind of an interesting little thing. It was 15 minutes, but it was cool, and the kids liked it. So one of the other cool things was the stingray exhibit, where um, which was larger than the sturgeon one. The sturgeon one was pretty small, and they only had like three or four sturgeon, but there was a stingray one that was much much bigger. And you also, again, you wash your hands, you go in, and you can put your hands in the water, and they come up, and they check you out, and you, and you can pet them. Um, you know, they warn you not to touch the tails, because they are stingrays after all. But they seemed pretty friendly, and they were, like, they seemed curious and wanting to check people out. And I actually took my niece and nephew through that a second time while we were waiting. Um, I think their, their mom went to get in line uh, for the 
aquatic show at the end of the day and uh, we were all kind of just sitting outside just kind of resting and we were right by the stingray exhibit and so they're like oh can we go again so i took them for a second time uh, and could barely pull my nephew away from that because he he was really enjoying um, getting the opportunity to touch you know an actual stingray that was pretty cool um, and then as i said we were uh, waiting to get into the aquatic show and so that was the final thing of the day uh, where you got to see, you know, full, uh, like, uh, not a theater really, but um, I guess it was a, a, an aquatic theater in, in, in a way, where you had dolphins and beluga whales and seals and everything, and they were all part of this big show. They even had a, a dog as well uh, that, uh, that, that performed at the very end. As they, they do a, a dog rescue program at the um, aquarium, and they rescue a certain number of dogs every few years and they incorporate them into their aquatic shows which is interesting the dogs don't actually go in the water at least not in this show they didn't but uh, it was it was really a lot of fun and like I said it was my first experience there and um, I'll probably at the very end of this if you're interested I'll post some of the photos of some of the strange uh, critters that we saw in the aquariums which was really cool and just as a heads up uh, my vlogs may be a bit sporadic over the next few weeks because I am very likely going to Memphis for a uh, for work. Uh, I have to be on site for a client uh, for about a month. I don't know exactly when I'm leaving yet, but um, if you don't see a vlog for me come go up, it's probably because of that. Or at the very least, um, maybe if I if I can, I'll put up just a really quick. Uh, webcam vlog for my laptop like I did last week so we'll see how that goes but anyway thanks for joining me this week and uh, enjoy the, uh, the little montage of, of uh, photos at the end here until next time thanks for joining me bye bye